What is up? My name is Crypto at the Dip, though, and that is exactly where I prefer to buy. Now, I know, guys, I know, I know. I'm in a robe. I have sunglasses on. And you're extremely jealous. I got it. I got it. Now, we're in a horrible time for crypto. So I thought I could bring some entertainment to the Dipto gang. And anyone that's new that's watching, my name is Crypto at the Dipto, and that is exactly where I like to buy. And that is very ironic because the markets are bleeding and we are in a shitty situation regardless. But bear markets is where billionaires and millionaires and thousandaires are made. So with that being said, today I'm going to talk about a certain NFT project that I joined about, I think, a year and a half ago. And I'm still in the Discord to this day. I'm going to provide all the information because it's an amazing, pro amazing project. And I really do love it. But for starters, look at this amazing Christmas gift Santa brought me. Like, who knew? Who knew that you needed a rope with a hood? It, it's honestly just the most comfortable thing. Not to mention... If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, I mean, come on, you could fit a bag of nuts in your pocket and walk around. If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, it's basically a supermarket with amazing food. You need to get these nuts. Sesame honey cashews. These things are addicting. So yeah, I was a good boy. Santa took care of me. So with that being said, that's just a gift from a friend that we won't mention. Um... So yeah, the project that I'm talking about, but before we get into that, for everyone that isn't sure what an NFT is, basically it stands for non-fungible token. In short, it's a picture. So you're asking yourself, why are people spending so much money on pictures? Well, I'll put it, I'll put it in layman's terms. Can you right click on the picture, hit save as, and save it to your computer and now it's yours? Absolutely. But what proof do you have that it's yours? Just showing people that you saved it on your computer or just telling them that it's there on your computer and you can put it on a USB stick. Technically, it's yours, sure. But the difference between doing that and paying for an NFT is that it is on the blockchain. The blockchain is where all information is stored and it's public. For example, you make a transaction that is on the blockchain. A lot of things can be found on the blockchain. So an NFT is a non-fungible token, or in other words, it is a JPEG, a picture that you pay money for. So some of them have utilities. And what do I mean when I say utilities? Utilities could be anything from the project that you're supporting. Let's say it's called Christmas tree NFT. You know, you buy a picture of a Christmas tree and maybe for every picture you buy, they can plant one tree for next year. So that's an example of a utility. So what I wanna talk about today is a project that I got into about a year and a half ago. And you know what, this was my first NFT project that I got, that I got into personally, and I still hold it. Um, I only have about eight NFTs that I personally own. I keep everything transparent on this channel, and that is exactly the way I'm gonna run this channel. So the project that I'm talking about is called Crypto Bats. Excuse me, those nuts are amazing. Hold on, let me take this off because I don't. I, I live in New York and it's eighty-five degrees and I'm sweating. The things I do to make a video. Please excuse me. Okay, so <clears throat> the project I'm talking about is Crypto Bats. Um, it was created by Sutter Systems, is the team I believe, but also Ozzy Osbourne. And Sharon Osborne are the co-founders of it. I'm sorry, through Discord. So there's different icons for different things that you're interested in. Say you like Pokemon, say you like painting, you can join these Discords. And inside of them, they have subcategories. Now, based on the subcategory and what you're interested in, you'll jump in. So for example, Crypto Bats, if you go into it, they have a section called Ancient Bats, English, Chinese, those are language barriers, obviously, um, verified bats, so on and so forth. A Discord is a place where people go to get information and they chat with other people. You can friend people. It's a great place. It's very informative. 
So with that being said, I jumped in. I bought a crypto bat. I actually ended up getting a pretty rare bat. Now, when I say rare, the way crypto bats works and basically a majority of NFTs is, is that they are randomly generated. So, for example, picture a bat. Now, these bats can be gold, orange, purple, black. They can have different color backgrounds. They can have accessories on them. And clearly there are websites where you can check to see the rarity of your NFT. So I got a bat with a thorny crown on his head. Less than 1% of people own a bat with a thorny crown on its head. So right away, I wasn't going to sell my bat no matter what, no matter what anybody offered me, I plan to keep it no matter what, because this was a project by Ozzy Osbourne. I love the community and I loved everything about it. So with that being said, there, this project is extremely amazing in the aspect of I've been in it for about a year and a half. I want to say two years. I've been in it for a very long time. Now, I liked everything the Discord was talking about in crypto bats. I loved every concept, every idea they had. But here's the problem with a community and a project and the ideas they give off. A lot of the times, it's just a lot of this going on, a lot of talking. A lot of people wanting you to invest and buy into their project and giving you false hopes and false dreams. So in my mind, I felt something was right about this project. I really did. I really felt like, you know, maybe it's because it was my first NFT, which if it's my first, I was rather new to the NFT market. So maybe I was gullible. Maybe I was dumb. Who knows? I decided to stick around. Fast forward a year and a half later, everything they have said, they have stuck with. And everything they said, they absolutely did. And they continue to do. And the team is amazing. If you join their Discord, I will give you all the information below. They are one of the very few projects, actually probably one of the only ones that I've heard of, that is coming out with something new for NFTs. So what they're doing is, inside of CryptoBats, what you have is, is you receive your bat. Now let me backtrack a little bit. I received my bat. The second thing they said they were going to do is, is they were going to allow, this is going to get a little difficult, so try to just bear with me for people that are beginners and advanced. I bought a picture. An NFT. It was a crypto bat. So now what they said they were going to do is, is they were going to allow your crypto bat to be able to bite another project. So basically the four projects they had, I believe was Bored Ape Yacht Club, Mutant Ape, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, um, Toads, and something else. It's on their Discord. I don't know. But basically if you owned a Bored Ape or a mutant ape, your bat was able to bite a bored ape and the it would basically make a third NFT for you. So if you had a bat and a bored ape, whatever their attributes are, if they were to bite each other, you would create a third NFT with the attributes of the bored ape and the crypto bat. That was an amazing concept. I was like, this is genius. Then they started talking about something called ancient bats, which is within crypto bats. So now this has been a year and a half in the making. Nobody could have foreseen, you know, what was going to happen in the crypto industry with FTX and SBF. You know, I'm sure some people could, but they have inside knowledge. So I don't know. Shh. I don't want Illuminati or coming after me or something. So anyway, everything they have said, they did. Ancient Bats, fast forward to today. Ancient Bats is amazing. It is basically like Pokemon Go. If you're familiar with Pokemon Go, cool, you're going to understand what I'm saying. If you're not, I'll put it this way. So basically, you're they're going to give you clues and hints and basically poems and riddles, and you have to figure them out, which are going to lead you to certain places. It could be in New York. It could be in Australia. It's going to be across the globe, and you're going to be able to find an ancient bat based on these poems and riddles and clues. I'm not really too sure if it's going to be a QR code if it's going to be augmented reality. But if you are the person that finds this bat, I guarantee you this bat is going to be worth a lot of money. So like I said, the project is Crypto Bats. It's sponsored by Sutter Systems. I'm forgetting the most important part. They gifted everyone 
a cave, a bat cave in the metaverse where you can put your art. For anyone that doesn't know what the metaverse is, it's basically, think of video games. It's a world that you go to and you have a character and you can buy actual goods with real money. So think about Sims, where you go into a house, you have a house, you can buy a chair, you can buy this. The metaverse is a place where you can go, you can shop around, there's advertisements for real, the real world stuff, Samsung, McDonald's. It's crazy, that's what the metaverse is. You go there to escape, you could spend real actual money. So this metaverse, they gifted everyone that owns a bat, a bat cave. Not to mention, they do games, Riddles, game night, movie night, the community is ever expanding and they're just amazing. It's always a fun, good time. They're always giving away prizes. This is probably the best NFT, you know, project that I've been in in a very long time. Um, they also, and for people that don't know this and do love Ozzy Osbourne, he paints and he's been sober a very long time and he hasn't told many people this and not a lot of people do know but Ozzy Osbourne paints and he created four paintings one of the four is very rare so they gave everyone that has a crypto bat one of uh you receive one of those four paintings as an nft and you have a chance to get one of them which is very rare i got a regular one but still the point is that they deliver they do everything they say, they say everything they do, and they have done everything they said they did do, done, yes. And with that being said, I want you guys to check them out. Do your own research, do your due diligence, and always buy that crypto at that dip dough. Yes, that's all I wanted to talk about today. <clears throat> I kind of wanted to brush up. I was on vacation for about 12 days. Now I'm back into the grind with this new year coming about. I'm going to be pumping out a lot of videos, a lot of shorts, grinding on all my social medias. And if you are new here, please check out my other videos. Check out my TikTok, my Instagram, all my other social medias. And I'll put the links below for crypto bats and the discords. And I kind of did this really fast and I tried to do it in one take. So if you feel like I missed something out about the project, please feel free to message me on Twitter or leave a comment below. I answer everyone back, and no matter how much I grow, I will continue to do that. Obviously, when you grow to a certain point, it becomes extremely hard, but I will answer back everyone, and I love doing this, and I love the, I have 130 subscribers. I started this about two and a half months ago, and my goal was to get to 10. Uh, I'm an utter loss of words, and I'm shocked for the love, and you guys, the Dipto gang, Maybe six of you that hashtag that. Doesn't matter. It's six people. <laughs> That's better than zero. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other social medias. Crypto to dip though out. Peace.